Okay, Evolution of Jazz 2, we're on to Module 9, Cool Jazz, featuring Jake Hanna, Jimmy Cobb, and the great Joe Morello. And yes, this is a picture of me with Joe Morello. Joe was my teacher for 40 years, my, uh, my second father and mentor, and I was around him since I was a kid. And at one point, the Ludwig Drum Company was nice enough to do an ad of Joe and I together. Joe came to prominence playing with the Dave Brubeck Quartet. Uh, he was a member of in that group for 12 and a half years. And he changed the way drums would forever be played. And one of the things he was known about was his fast left hand. He had a very incredible, incredible dexterity with both hands, but drummers very rarely played like that. And he was so famous with it. Here's a cartoon, B.C. by Johnny Hart. And it's basically B.C. on a rock. And it shows uh, him banging on the rock with the left hand. And it says, eat your heart out, Morello. <laughs> this was given to me by, by my buddy Steve Foster as a, as a wedding present, because Joe was our best man at the wedding. Anyway, the thing about Joe Morello was he did have incredible dexterity with the left hand, where he would basically play. <laughs> play in his incredible drum solos, but he was also very, very musical, and the Dave Brubeck uh, Quartet was known for playing very pretty music. A lot of the jazz beats he played when playing in an ensemble were very kind of right down the middle. <laughs> Great time feel you'll hear in the videos of the Dave Brubeck group, but they also did some very innovative things. We discussed this in Evolution of Jazz 1, where he played take 5 and 5-4, where the rhythm was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> module we'll be talking about Jimmy Cobb who played with Miles Davis. Jimmy Cobb, like Roy Haynes, is still with us playing well into their 90 year range. Uh, they're both in their 90s still playing. Jimmy Cobb, you'll hear, had all kinds of interesting textures on the cymbal, like they would do uh, with Miles Davis, Someday My Prince Will Come, and there'd be a rhythm where instead of playing... <laughs> textures and again the point of this is that these drummers from my perspective since I am a drummer these drummers influenced all of these great jazz musicians and allowed the music to go in certain directions that they wouldn't have gone with different drummers so I hope you enjoy this module some great things in here cool jazz <laughs>